Hi everyone, welcome to Bamda Racket Review. Today we are testing the leaning turbocharging N72 badminton racket. Um, racket specifications, uh, there's nothing written on the racket for the first time in 580 rackets that we've, 60 or 70 racket, 570 or 80 rackets that we've now tested. It's the first time we have absolutely no information whatsoever on the racket itself. However, we can tell you that this racket is, uh, well it's made, I'm reading from a screen because I haven't got anything to tell you from here, so this is the specifications according to manufacturer and the other thing is be careful because we've seen this racket listed on some websites as a super light uh, 5U racket, so I don't know if they make different versions of it, uh, but this one is a 3U version and it is made of military grade carbon fibre um, we have got a balance point of 295 so the balance point of the racket is quite it's quite even so we're not sort of head light or head heavy it's an even 295 according to the manufacturer so I know our measurement was different to that and the flex on the on the shaft is medium stiff so it's a medium stiff shaft now the tension is vertically 28 pounds maximum so when the stringer is string it, you can go vertically to a maximum of 28 and horizontally 30 pounds. So that's pretty good, actually. Very good indeed. Okay, so price of this racket again, we've seen a, a quite a fluctuation in prices, so it's difficult to gauge. But I think we've seen prices ranging from 110 to 144 pounds. Um, I'm not sure we, we could we need to look further into if they've made a different version of this racket or there's an old version and a new version, not sure what's going on, but the um, prices also vary quite a bit. So you need to make sure if you, this is the racket you're looking for, um, that you get the real thing. And they do have a sort of barcode here and a scratch off little panel, which you can scratch off to verify the racket's legitimate and real, a real lean, leaning product. Okay, so Let's look at the design. Well, the design of the racket is really good. Um, beautiful colours used, vibrant, current in design. Uh, you know, the uh, paintwork is really good as well. They, all of the rackets, we've seen a lot of rackets this, this time round. Uh, so the testing of, of these rackets was done in 2017, December. The video has been published in early 2018. Um, so this is actually going under the 2017 playlist. And a lot of the rackets we tested at the end of 2017, including this one, have this sort of sparkly paint, which seems to be the current trend in the rackets. Um, but I prefer this design to any of the Yonix ones we've tested recently. Um, the quality of the print is really good. Take a look at the close-up video yourself and let us know what you think. Right, let's weigh this racket now. Let's see how much this weighs with the strings in place. So there you have it, 91.3 grams. Um, so depending on which string you're going to use, you're looking at a sort of 90 to 91 gram racket going on court. I have to say the racket itself feels uh, fairly light. Um, maybe a maybe the sort of balance is just slightly towards the head you do feel that um, but it feels very light in using the racket on court um, it has its clear strengths and its clear weaknesses um, overall it's not the kind of racket that everybody is going to get them you know so if you're an intermediate player even an advanced player to be honest um, it's not the sort of racket that everybody's going to be able to get a lot out of. You're going to be, have to have a certain skill set to be able to use this racket. We've done a full in-depth review, a video review on uh, on the racket E-Zone at Badminton Racket Review. To, uh, to access the E-Zone, you need to be a member. 
Um, uh, the membership starts at £1.99 and then there's a £5.99 and £9.99 option too. Um, if you go over to the Racket eZone, look at the individual Racket page, this is the kind of information that we present to you. And on that page, you, you will have the manufacturer's information, as I've already pointed out, our test results, our overall score, a personal video of this racket, uh, along with the testing, photography and video. So it's a fairly full page of information. And as I say, as you saw then, as I said earlier, um, the video that's contained within the individual racket page for this racket is quite a detailed covering the smash ability, the defense ability of this racket, how well it drops, you know, so the control aspect, um, how good is it driving and overhead shots are all covered in the detailed video on the site. Now we've already done the smash test where we measure the velocity of the shuttlecock in kilometers per hour. The control test shows us how good this racket controls uh, the shuttle and the maneuver test is where we measure the head speed of the racket as it moves through the air. Uh, we've already done those tests, here's a glimpse of those. Okay, so that's uh, unfor unfortunate. We, we, do not have, we don't have more information on the racket, but that's it for this today. If you want more information on it, go to our website. The website's below. Before you, you go, please do hit the subscription button, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.